Hey guys, it's Bro Carpers, and welcome to my review for episode 17 of season 6 of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Dungeons and Discord. So, Discord has finally made its first appearance in season 6, and um, yeah, that episode happened. I mean, it wasn't a bad episode, but it was. I'm not sure what to make of it. Like, I think if I were, like, someone who's into, like, board games and stuff like that, I would maybe like it better. I'm not saying I didn't like it. I mean, any episode starring Discord is instantly going to get my attention. But, you know, I, I wasn't too sure about how he would uh, match up with the likes of Spike and Big Mac. Um... Oh, oh, the episode was very good. Um, I really loved Fluttershite again. Just seriously, sooner or later they have to make an episode purely on Fluttershite and Discord. I'm not 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 shipping an episode so any Fluttershite fans just you know get that idea out of your head. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just I just like to see he more of you know the, her friendship expanded on. Maybe it's just me, but I just think seeing how how easily Flourish I can pretty much play Discord. I mean, casting back to when him Discord was first introduced, who's who would have thought that Flourish I that then it's shy one. Would Tur pretty much become the puppet master to the puppeteer, or for lack of a better term, because pretty much he played the main six like puppets when he first met. Um, yeah, that would be a hell of an interesting episode. Like I said, I'm not asking for a shipping episode. I don't care, or I don't think Discord should. Be in a relationship with anyone, even Fluttershy. I mean, I I can see they have a good chemistry together, but no. But hey, if that's if if that's your ship, go for it. But uh, yeah, um, it was, was really interesting. Like I said, um, the Big Max like. Costume in the when they were playing the game, he looked like something straight out of Skyrim. To be honest, I was like, "Where have I seen that before?" And then it clicked to me, Skyrim. It looks like something mm, your character would wear in Skyrim. I'm like, "Huh, interesting." I mean, it's not like it's the most unusual oh, reference. It's, it's not exactly the last. Video game reference that MLP has produced in its six and a half seasons, or as it is now, well, five and a half seasons, sorry. Um, this is halfway through since six. Um, but yeah, and um, am I the only one who know? Maybe, maybe I am, but this score looked like. He was dressed like the guy from Lord of the Rings. The guy with the bow and arrow. Is it Legolas? Or is that someone... Is that a different... And... Movie. Probably gonna get slayed for that because... And this is probably something that's gonna get me more slayed. I've never watched The Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit movies. I just know there was a guy with a bow and arrow because of that clip that you see. Like The guy who shoots like all the things that were attacking. I, I don't know which movie it was from. I don't know which character. I don't know what they were. I think they were orcs or some shit like that. I don't know. And Spike looked like a weird combination between Dumbledore and the guy from the other guy, the wizard guy from Lord of the Rings. 
who was played by the guy who replaced the original Dumbledore, I think. That's probably not right. I I I, have no, I don't really follow any of those kind of movies. I mean, I've watched like I, like I mean, I've watched a few of the Harry Potter movies, but I wouldn't know like the only actors in that movie I know off the top of my head are the three mains. Um, but yeah, I don't know any. I barely know it. I know very little about the Lord of the Rings. Slay away, but I don't care. You can slay away, I will ignore your comment. So, and if you dislike, then you're a child. But yeah, I, maybe I would have gotten, maybe there were like references I didn't get. I, I think this episode was... Um, for the more, um, like, the title alone screams to, like, locked in their base, mother's basement, no friends, big glasses wearing nerds. It's, it's that you see in, like, movies or in TV shows. Who's, who's there like the outcasts at school, at their school, but they form like a nerd group and they play a certain role playing game where they pretend that they are cool and interesting. Very, in very odd to see a character like Discord in this kind of situation, even because he is one of the coolest characters in the entire show. Um... So yeah, I, I really, I don't really know what to say about this episode. Um, I'm, I'm not. See, I don't want to give this episode a bad rating just because some of the, because I didn't. Totally understand what the fuck was going on. I mean, a lot of this, a lot of time when Discord shows up, things are gonna get freaking batshit crazy anyway. But this episode just off from this from the off seemed like it'd be like a weird one. And yeah, it was interesting. Um, yeah. So, uh, for this episode, I'm going to give it a, <sighs> 7 out of 10. I was going to give it six and a half, but then I remember, I mean, there might be a lot of people who really liked this episode, and, you know, if, if you did, fair enough. I didn't totally understand it. It didn't make it, it didn't make a whole, whole lot of sense. But, uh, yeah, interesting, interesting episode. So, yeah. Seven out of ten. I'm going to be generous with this episode. But because it wasn't a bad episode. It wasn't. I mean, it wasn't like an episode where they're like, oh, for God's sake, just let this episode be over. This episode was fairly enjoyable. Well, especially the start with Flourish and Discord. Um, the rest was a bit odd, but, you know, it's enjoyable. Um, I may watch this episode again if if they ever put this, if ever, if they ever decide to put more than four seasons on Netflix, um, yeah, interesting indeed. I will see you all next weekend for the next episode. Until then, thanks for watching. I'm Joy, and until next time, hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.